We already read the response, so let's actually read the original article, which is, after CrowdStrike, programmers deserve consequences. Just a quick one in the chat. Do you think, does anyone think programmers, I know everybody here is a programmer. Does, does anyone think programmers deserve consequences after CrowdStrike happening? I see some ones. Wow, I actually see a lot of ones. What's the consequences? There's a lot of ones. People think programmers deserve consequences. Are you goon maxers <laughs> attempting to just have those guys fired so that you could try to get their job? All right, Ethan McHugh, take us on this one. An anesthesiologist can expect a salary of over $300,000. But to be completely fair, an anesthesiologist, every time someone's in surgery, will 100% kill somebody if they goof up. Completely fair. When I make a small change to my tower defense, like people aren't literally dying. You know what I mean? Uh, this is because uh, putting you to sleep for surgery is actually kind of risky. Yeah. It's crazy risky. If they do their job wrong, you die. Their salary reflects the fact that they take on that much liability for that. That's pretty much, can we all agree, that's pretty much the same responsibility all of us feel, right? As programmers, we effectively feel the same level of responsibility, right? Like, we know the fact that if somebody couldn't tweet, like, there's death on the line. They also make more than 300K, true. All right, when a structural engineer finishes a design, they sign off on it. If something goes wrong with that structure uh, due to their negligence, it kills someone. That engineer might be on the hook for manslaughter. It's true. I say in the other video, but I'll say it here just in case you don't see the other video, which is that uh, there's a famous incident in a hotel with these walkways where they goof up the design of the walkways, which we actually have, I literally have right here, where they totally F up the design. And they end up 3Xing the amount of weight on very, like, critical features that cause the entire thing to fall off and just the top one to remain. Yeah. Uh, what do I think about certifications? Uh, I've never worked at a place that needed certifications. Uh, yesterday, a friend of mine who was stuck at a hospital all day, their computer system went down, and that led to delay of care. Delays in care kill people. Liam Neeson's daughter was successfully taken to the airport uh, to an airport, a blue screen of death. Very serious. It's true. I got a birth certificate. Does that count? <laughs> Man, chat is so unhinged today. What the hell's going on here? Okay, so I mean, all of this is, I mean, these are all pretty reasonable arguments, but they're just not in the realm. The problem about it is that a structural engineer makes things that are important. Anesthesiology does things that have high impact. Half of you guys are trying to figure out how to put a button on the page because somebody has created, you know, they have created Phalanx, the greatest the greatest UI architecture ever of all time, and it's impossible for you to reason about, so adding a mother french fry button to the screen is virtually impossible, let alone to make it a color of blue that's not currently supported. So is this even remotely the same argument as structural engineer or anesthesiologist? Not really, okay? It's just not. It's just not. <laughs> I didn't really mean to, I didn't technically mean to, to call it fa a phallix. Though phallix is a really funny, phallix is such a good name. Oh my gosh, phallix JS. I, I got to figure out how to make something popular with the word phallix. You're only thinking of web dev. Okay, there's a huge amount of just, okay, yes, your juicero juicer. If it doesn't squeeze all the juice out because it sucks, people ain't dying. Video games? If Fortnite, if your big booty girl running around here can't figure out how to shoot her gun properly because it don't work. Okay, that's just a dick. Okay, I just I drew a dick. Okay, that's just a dick. All right. If my big booty girl doesn't isn't able to shoot something, guess what? That ain't doing anything either. Ain't nobody dying. All right. <laughs> I said girl and drew a dick. <laughs> Dude, have you ever tried to draw a human body? It's extremely difficult. Okay, I went I went for a human body actually. <laughs> Actually, drew a dick airplane. <laughs> That's a NASA dick. Shit, that thing, that thing's, <laughs> that thing's coming in hot. Oh my gosh! Woo! So I, I don't, I generally don't like these comparisons. Uh, I think they're a bit unfair, just because the the difference of severity is not some sort of multiplier. It's it's not like, hey, we're both working on X severity. And we both have a coefficient in front, and your coefficient, because you're a structural engineer, maybe is like 1.5, but mine's 1.2. No, it's like we're working on different problem in kind. Most people do not work on any sort of human-based software that actually has some sort of uh, problem. Airplane guided systems, that's a lot different. Now now we're getting somewhere, okay? Auto Like autopilot on a car, now you're getting somewhere where there's actual real problems here, right?
actual real problems. Let the dude cook. Well, I, I got to first address these things right off the, the bat because if, if we're going to let the man cook and he throws in ingredients, if the man's like, hey, I want to make you a shrimp cocktail and starts off by throwing in a whole ass ham, I'm going to have some questions, okay? I'm having some questions because a whole ass ham was tossed in, okay? Just give me a sec. Just give me a second to cook, okay? We're cooking. We're co-cooking together. All right, all over the world, hospitals, airlines, banks, etc., critical infrastructure was taken down by a bad patch and some random bit of software. This time, it was CrowdStrike. Actually, it's like the fourth time. But let's be 100% fucking real with ourselves. It could have been anything. <laughs> Is this classic scare tactics going on right now? Uh, it's an open secret that the entire software field, uh, development field, is a bit of a clusterfuck. I don't think it's a secret, right? I'm just saying. Software is terrible. It will always be terrible. It, it, it's okay to be terrible. I have no problems with it being ter- terrible. Actually, you know what? Part of the fun is the fact that it's a clusterfuck. Okay? Because if you're working on something that you think is great, the next person's going to come in and think it's absolutely horrible. Okay? It's just part of the joys. All right? It's just part of the joys of it all. Attempts to impose standards and restrictions largely fail. It's a diminishingly rare to finish a project on budget, on time, and without defects. The education software developers receive is woefully inadequate. The space is flooded with grifters, uh, con persons, imbeciles. Okay, called me out by names a little painful. And fanatics. I mean, we're all fanatics. Uh, We idolize and pray to emulate success stories like Facebook, a grand machine, which reminds me of birthdays and drives teenagers to suicide. (laughs) Like, I mean, he's not wrong. Absolutely wild, though. Software engineers are never held accountable for the effects uh, their actions have on this world. Actually, yes, they do. They get they get uh, fired. I don't know if you've been, I, I don't know if you've seen this, but I've seen people get fired for their actions. That poor bastard slash bastards at CrowdStrikes weren't paid uh, anesthesiologist rates, yet they, uh, their mistake is going to kill a lot of people. My guess is they were in fact paid anesthesiology rates, likely, if not better. But you're right. They could have killed somebody. This specific instance actually could have killed somebody. A delayed medif- medication, all that. So he's not actually wrong. Like I, I know his ire is really ridiculous, but his his point is is generally correct-ish, right? I doubt they would uh, have signed off anything they'd done in the last decade as being defect-free, and yet that is the standard we're rightfully held to, uh, uh, or uh, rightfully hold other fields to. Generally speaking, yeah. Generally speaking, radiology does kill people. Yeah, the Therac-25. Yeah, the Therac-25 was also a bug that 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 killed six people, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, sometimes needs to change. Let's see. Something needs to change, and I doubt anything other than real, uniformly applied consequences will make a difference. Okay, I'm gonna skip this. My guess is this thing is yeah, amazing. an hour, an hour long talk. I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna skip the hour long talk. I know that sounds amazing, but I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm gonna do it. Uh, this article is delusional. I don't think it's delusional. I think it's just unrealistic. And I think it's I think it's overshooting the importance of what most software does. To clarify, I'm not saying that an individual at the bottom of the chain decision making is materially responsible for this outage. Okay, see this, by the way, this right here, it does make this whole thing like more realistic, right? Uh, based on the degree to which uh, was, let's see, hold on, based on the degree to which what was in my head was received as almost the opposite message by so many. I'm pretty sure I wrote this poorly. I think this Reddit comment did a good job distilling something I wish I got across. So what you're saying is that the corporate, the corporation, in fact, should be the one held responsible because I'm pretty sure the corporation should, is going to be held responsible. I'm pretty sure CrowdStrike is going to at least have to file some amount of legal proceedings and probably have a lot of issues going on, right? Good edit. Well, he's making a good edit. Let, hey, let the edit happen. The reason why anesthesiologists and structural engineers can take responsibility for their work is because they are legally responsible for the consequences of their actions, specifically on of things within their individual control. There are members of regulated professional credentialing organizations. Only a licensed professional engineer can sign off certain things. Only a board-certified anesthesiologist can perform on patients. It has nothing to do with respect. Facts. Facts. Facts on facts. I always say the same thing, which is, do you want some sort of government form that you have to fill out to prove that you are a certified, board-certified programmer. How about Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, Kid Rock, and Matt Gates get into a room together and they decide what laws or regulations should be used to determine if we're good enough to be considered board programmers? 
I think that's fair. I think that's fair. Software developers as individuals should not be scapegoated in this CrowdStrike situation specifically because they are not licensed. There are no legal standards to be met uh, for the title or the role, and therefore they are the peasants, as the author calls them, who must do as they are ho- uh, told by the business. Fair. I mean, they're not breaking any laws. I don't think any of them broke any single law, so they're actually not liable for anything. Build the firewall. Build the firewall! Uh, and also, this post I wrote and uh, this one reply down are at least a little clearer on where I think the blame lies for this particular outage. I am not and wish I never came so close to implying that in the exact instance we should blame a coder for what was clearly a process issue. Good. It's just that even though we all know that not unit testing or performing QA is negligent behavior, our field doesn't actually have any codes that are enforced by law. The um, Again, like, imagine, just Im- imagine for a second. Imagine for a second that, okay, so Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, AOC for short, uh, comes out, okay, looking fantastic, right? Doing her cl- signature laugh, right? Ah, right, smiling. And she says, 100% test coverage is the requirement for USA software. Or do you want to hear something that's even more wild? Maybe the EU says that. Like, you realize that when that happened, small update would take years. Do you realize, like, what would happen to all of our jobs and life? I know. Think about all the amount of, like... Think about this. You'd go, gosh, we need better safety mechanisms. So we're going to have 100% code coverage. Well, first off, AI is going to generate all the tests. Okay, real talk. AI is going to generate all the tests. It Not only will it generate all the tests, but it's going to generate properly incorrect tests. They're going to test and solidify bugs into your code. It's going to be absolutely incredible. Two... They're going to do it natively, of course, right? AI native, hot button issue. Uh, Two, anytime you wish to make a change, think about the sheer amount of just destruction that would be across the entire realm of all these unit tests breaking for gosh knows what reason. Because you just allowed an AI to generate a massive amount of stuff so that you can continue to uh, like operate in a country. Like it's just the burden alone is going to be wild. The reason I implied programmers should uh, see consequences isn't because I misunderstand how development works or that CloudStrike was largely caused by chains uh, of terrible management. It wasn't just chains of terrible management. Even saying that is pretty inappropriate. Like, at the end of the day, there was a developer that pressed go into production. Well, we can assume. Let's just pretend that we're assuming here, okay? Uh, That there was just literally did a no slow rollout push to production. Like, somebody had to do that and say, yo, this is crazy. And then if management told them it doesn't matter, then yeah, they're like they're probably like legally li- they're like they're probably in like actual legal problems at that point. And so, but if if that didn't happen, they did all of their testing and then pushed it out. Like, there's probably not one. There's not one. I I hate just blaming management, and I also hate just blaming engineers. It's always just like a blame soup, right? There's like several people that have made the mistake. You know what I mean? Several people always make the mistake. It's never just like one one group. I just, I just doubt it. Uh, it's because without any codes uh, similar to those fields, we will never be taken seriously. That's what I want in my life. I want some seriousness. My thought process was, if it matters, we will make codes. If we make codes, then maybe we edge closer to being an actual engineering discipline. Lord Jesus, please no codes. I beg you. I beg you. I beg you. I absolutely beg you. Please no. I don't want codes. I don't want it. Why don't we have application-specific requirements like NASA has for its uh, aircraft software but hires contract devs for internal tools? Yeah, I mean, that would be good, but that requires the the rigor. Uh, the, it requires good decision-making. Hey, you don't want federal regulation code? <laughs> please. Please no more. I don't want – please, I got, we got to quit edging. Can we just can – we, can, can we not edge anymore? Can we edge no more? Please. Uh, and seriously, watch the video I linked. It did a way less shitty job than I did. Yes. Yeah, I'm demonstrably bad communicator. I agree with everything you are saying, and I think we agree on what uh, they shape or what the shape of things should be. But I think without actual codes that you can hold someone to there uh, is no basis upon which to punish a company for not following them. Just imagine if this is actually like the take. Like, imagine if this is what happens. Think about all the people who are trying to go through boot devs and stuff. Like, this would this would take out a huge portion of new engineers it'd be gar- it'd be garbage codified and it would be absolutely destructive to the field like it really would be 
Uh, but I fucked up hard by, uh, by just saying programmers deserve consequences. People assumed I meant, yeah, let's get the guy who did this. I really meant programmers deserve to live in a world where their actions are given weight and recognized as the engaging engineering discipline with consequences for negligence all the way up the chain. Again, there's a fundamental problem with this statement. Even this statement, I, I not only do I just kind of disagree with, I fully and absolutely disagree with. And it's very, very simple, which is, again, when it comes to building a house, you can calculate the safety factor. There is a hard number that if it's below one, it has a high chance of causing failure. You can go to so many of these different um, calculations that have like a hard actual answer to whether or not this is good. And so if you don't do that, you are cutting corners and actually risking lives. And there's a hard number for why that's bad. But programming, like if I want to use OOP and you want to use functional programming, which one is worse? If you want to do fuzz testing versus me doing unit testing versus someone else doing EDE testing, it, A, you can only test the bugs you know about, all right? And fuzz testing is your greatest example, right? If you attempt to make computer programming into an engineering discipline, it is going to be just absolutely wrecked. Uh, those licensed professionals get months or years just to sign off the design. Want me to sign your website, guarantee no bugs? I'll see you in 12 months. Yeah, that's the answer. Nobody cares about IEEE codes of ethics. You know why no one cares? Because you're a bunch of goon maxers coming out of your goon cave to watch a little bit of Twitch where there just might be some goon lords on, okay? We all know what's going on around here. We all know what's happening. You guys just want to be a bunch of edge lords having fun memeing on things and building the colored button on your website in the phallix library that you just absolutely hate maintaining, but there is no other possible option, okay? It is not my fault. The only possible solution to everything right now is obviously blockchain.